This is the Wharf Warehouse Landmark Bundle. This build has a roughly 10 inch by 12 inch footprint. It's an interior focused build, so it has no roofs, but there are some exterior points of interest. This bundle is showcasing our rustic wood double high pieces, as well as our mezzanine pack for some second story uh, elevated uh, dynamic combat. It would be fantastic for uh, any sort of investigate the warehouse type scenario, a fight in, a, uh, in an old empty shack. Uh, maybe the bandits are holed up in a, a barn on the outskirts of town. That's sort of a scenario. We also have uh, a number of pieces left over. So there are some other building possibilities yet to be discovered. All right, let's dive in and take a look at the details. So starting along the outside, we have our market stall here uh, against the side of the building with the hand cart. Uh, and this thing, you can kind of pop it anywhere as a way to uh, spice up a room. Uh, it moves around. Players could actually roll around in combat or something. You can put a mini on top of there. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a way to work it into, uh, into combat one way or another. Uh, also, it could be have some treasure in it or something. So there's a reward for uh, the players if they want to investigate around on the outside. Further back, we have sort of the last lingering bits of accessories sort of piled up here to make it feel more like a uh, warehouse that's gathering uh, junk. Uh, and then back here, we have a second market stall, and this one is tilted back. So uh, normally they sit like this. In this case, we've tilted it inside and put the topper on like this uh, to give it a different profile. This topper will be in uh, felt with a rigid backing, so it'll have a really nice texture to it. Uh, and this market stall is concealing there's a side door there so it's another way in or out of the building also eagle-eyed players might note that there's a, a kind of a, a rotten section in the side of the building this is our secret door wall with the uh, one of the broken panels in it and the back panel is solid so if you wanted you could let players break through this could be another way to get in uh, perhaps if all the doors are locked they could force their way in although it'll make some noise and maybe attract some unwanted attention also, this could be a way for maybe someone to sneak out of the building. Uh, on the back of the building here, we have the uh, corbel post facade with our hoist pull accessory to help complete the warehouse look. Slash, maybe this is another way to get up here to just sneak in this way if you want. Uh, hidden around the back, there is another secret door panel that could be a solid war wall or a secret door. It's up to you. We'll take a look at that when we get on the inside. Uh, coming around the front of this building, we have uh, sort of showcasing our big double high uh, rustic wood door walls. So these have uh, a new set of weathered double doors in there. The doors uh, will be hinged and removable. So you can swap them out with any of your existing double doors in your collection, be it from the dungeon or the cavern or hellscape or wherever. Um, and then we have uh, solid walls all around the rest of the perimeter. And you're just using the double high corner posts with a nice little rosette to the top. And then everything is tied together with these open arch uh, facades to kind of hold uh, all the posts together and give it a nice sort of decorative finish at the top. Uh, let's come on inside. And for the sake of seeing what's going on here, I'm just going to tear out this, uh, this front wall so you can see everything that's waiting inside for us. Moving on in, I forgot to uh, look at, this is the awning. We're using it as a wooden ramp here. There's a pair of them, so you could roll your uh, your cart or whatever up through the double doors if you wanted. Uh, and of course, it's an awning, so you could just get it to the side of a floor and use it as an actual awning. Uh, coming in, we have this nice large room. Uh, first thing you see, there's a pile of dressing here, making a great spot for cover or somewhere you'd have to leap over or stand on to get maybe height advantage in combat. Uh, it's using the boarded up window inserts all piled up, kind of like pallets. Uh, we have the secret door solid panel, uh, which I use all over the place. Uh, sits really nicely up on there. And this is the uh, straight bar counter, as well as we have this shield that's a biscuit insert, um, biscuit insert hanging shield. We're using that also. Maybe someone could pick that up and use it in, uh, in combat. Uh, over here, we've got the magnetic tool rack, and that is stuck to the solid wall because all the solid walls are magnetic. So the magnet in here sticks right to it, so you can accessorize these things anytime you want. 
Coming on up to the second floor, we have uh, we have some stairs here. It's a 38 millimeter and a 25 millimeter stair biscuited together, and those are biscuited to corner railing platform. That is attached to we have this little like jetty here of uh, it's two two inch scaffolding platforms biscuited together, biscuited to this mezzanine area, and then supported by uh, the stair pillar there. And we've dressed them up with these are the wood rivet uh, biscuit filler inserts there. There's a two-inch railing on the side of this one, and a two-inch railing and narrow railing on the edge of this uh, mezzanine to provide some cover on the upper area, as well as we have the uh, hoist pull accessory on the little sliding pull accessory clip there, so you could uh, you could use that to, I don't know, someone could jump up there or swing down or swing goods around or who knows what. Um, on the back here, we have this mezzanine area. We'll show you how that was built in a sec. And that's got a uh, got a door that can go out, maybe it goes upstairs up to the roof or something, as well as the window. And we could have dressed that up with a boarded up window insert if this was more abandoned, uh, but we left it open right now. Uh, so this mezzanine let me sh is a kind of a neat technique. So I'm going to lift this whole thing out and show you what's in there. First, we'll first we'll pop these walls out. Oop. All right. So we built the uh so you start with building just like normal under the uh the base of the mezzanine with your walls wherever you want to go oh and this wall is a has a secret door on it too if you wanted you could pop those panels out that could be a secret door that gets revealed or you could just use it as a, a solid wall uh up to you but you've got options once you've uh, built your perimeter, the two ends, we're using double high posts here. So, right, so this has got double high posts on either side, other than, and rather than the regular, these are the regular height posts. Then you build your second story using the two by fours, uh, and those have walls along the back. You drop that in place, and then you take a little half spacer here, and you use that to fill in uh, the space that's left between the floor and the double high post. Boom. Boom. So that's, that's filling in this little gap here. Then you can take your regular wall and you slot it in and voila, you have a nice solid double high wall. If you want some extra stability, you could pop this corbel off and we could, you could uh, pop one of these facade, uh, the open arch facades on there and that would help tie this whole thing together. You could do that on both sides to give it extra stability if you'd like. Uh, so it's a neat a neat building technique you can use for any large room with some long balcony runs along. As you could have this feed into a two by two floor or another two by two floor if you want to have a four by four floor. You can use the city builder basics. A bunch of ways you can kind of keep running this around on the upper level to make a mezzanine because it encourages lots of fun multi-level combat. So hopefully this will inspire you in the sorts of encounters you can build using the Wharf Warehouse.